Hi, good morning. Today we are talking about the last topic in co topic seven, control distributed systems. We will talk about the role of uh, autonomous agent acting within a large systems. We can see a lot of different uh, program, the robot, or uh, you can say autonomous agents around the world and in our life. The technical hardware details are not expected, so, but you need to know some basic concept about that. Okay, first, what is autonomous agent? An autonomous agent is an intelligent agent <laughs> operating on an owner's behavior but without any inference of that ownership entity. In uh, intelligent agents are software entities, right? That carry out some set of operations on behavior of a user or another program with some degree of independence or uh, autonomy, and in so doing, employ some knowledge or a representation of the user's goal or deserves. Here, here is an example. It's a very simple example. I I, I saw this, uh, we can call it robot or agent in my Gabbana, and uh, this, uh, we call the hover bot, can automatically clean your house. So hover bots are autonomous agents in a sense that they read the environment around them and react individually. The hover bot is able to vacuum clean the room automatically by moving around and uh, identifying the surroundings, right? But it, but it's expensive. I don't. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, just uh, use it as an example. Uh, sometimes we call it uh, autonomous robot. Auto autonomous robot is a robot that performs behavior or uh, task tasks uh, within a high degree of autonomy, which is particular desirable in fields such as space uh, exploration, cleaning floors, and, uh, moving laws, and uh, uh, waste water treatment, and um, delivering goods and uh, service. Like we, talk, uh, we, we talked about the last time for the Amazon, the service, they're going to use, but uh, they're not going to use it, right, because depends on the US laws. Here are some examples about the autonomous agent. Okay, the first is the self maintenance. The first requirement for the complete the physical autonomy is the ability for a robot to take care of itself. For example, many of the battery powered Robot on the market today can find and connect to a charging station, and some toys like Sony's Able are capable of some docking to charge their batteries. Here, this one. And uh, the second one is the sensing the environment, just like our uh, uh, autonomous agency that I showed you the on the slide 6 of the hover balls, right? So this kind of robot is a uh, extra uh, reception is censoring things about the environment. So autonomous robots must have a range of environmental sensors to perform their task and stay out of trouble. Task performance the next step in autonomous behavior is to actually perform a physical task, like clean the floor, or water the flower, or sing a song. Indoor navigation. For robots to associate the behaviors with the place, uh, localization requires it to know where it is. 
and to be able to navigate point to point. Just like our Lego robot, we use a color sensor can help the robot stop when the robot moves to the edge of the table or to the different colors. Outdoor navigation. Outdoor, outdoor autonomy is most easily achieved in the air, not on the ground because it's 3D difficult to like uh, for the sensors but in the air that will be easier since the um, obstacles are rare like this picture the uh, cross muscles are rather dangerous highly autonomous robots okay. it's just like a playing game you, you sit in the room you sit in the office and count and uh, send out the autonomic muscle it can automatically control itself and uh, hit the, some destination or uh, destroy, destroy some building okay. okay today's activity is The activity is uh, write a one-page essay to discuss about the autonomous agent. Okay, the topic is, is it an agent or just a program? Here is a link for your information. Here is a link. It's an article that I found on the internet. So you can do some research on this article and also you can do some research on the different uh, news and uh, get some idea for you and uh, do this work. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.